Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Skyblock video. I'm Nebman, we're on server penguin.gg and by SB737. And in this video, amongst all these people, hello, hello, um, we're going to be going over everything new that's in Season 8. So if you didn't know, Season 8 has just launched on penguin.gg, the 8th season. You can probably guess that by the name, but yes, so we are back and we're playing and we're grinding and it is great, great fun. But what's changed? What's the difference between Season 8 and Season 7? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is uh, Kings. Kings is a brand new feature and these are our Kings over here. Hello, hello, Balthazar, Louise and Arthur. These are our current Kings and what they actually do is um, you can vote on them if you do a slash warp Kings. You can come over to this location and then they give you a different kind of boost. You basically got to vote for it and the highest number of votes but for the king will give the boost for that certain thing. So if we have a look, uh, this king <coughs> increases the sell price of logs by 0 0.5 in the rotating shop. Wood masteries increase faster, 1.5% uh, faster. Louis, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is going. One second. Wow, I had a bit of a malfunction in my throat. Anyway, Louis offers us increased sell price of crops by 0.5% and mob masteries increase 1.5% faster. So that's my current favorite. That's quite a good one, Louis. Well done, my friend. And then we got Arthur here as well. Sell price of mob dro rare drops by 0.5 in the rotating shop and mob masteries increase. Wow, wow. I'm gonna say Arthur, you have done very well here, sir. So you have got my vote. Thank you, Arthur. And I hope that you are elected the new king. The next thing that is brand spanking new is crystals. So what are crystals? Crystals essentially, if you do slash crystals, you'll see in this tab here, um, they are here for each thing. So there's mining, slaying, farming, woodcutting, and fishing. And basically what they do is on your mastery tools, like so, like so, once you get them to max level, you can add a crystal in. Uh, as long as you've upgraded it to perfect, it gives you an extra five additional max, like fortune for pickaxe, uh, looting for swords, etc, etc. I'll do a whole video on crystals just to make it clear how we use them. But again, another great addition, you basically get them from, for example, the mining ones, you get them from mining, looting ones, you get them from slaying, stuff like that. So, very cool. Um, they've also added a new spawn, which is beautiful, splendid, lovely, and I approve. It's very cool. Um, amongst other things, we've got there's a choice to do a one block island, if that is what you desire. Uh, that's in the island create menus. I can't show you that because I already have an island. Um, they've added a wood cutting leaderboard and also a stats for wood cutting, uh, as you can see. Da -da -da -da. Nedman stats, not very high because I'm a bit of a loser, not gonna lie. I've not done an awful lot this season just yet. There are new chat games. They've added a back button to the pets reroll. So if you're in here, there is a back button just here so that you can not have to press escape and close it all down, which is extremely useful. Um, it's a little thing to make a big difference. You can toggle the monthly crates. So as you know, in the crates, you get these monthly crates. You can toggle the chat so that the uh, messages don't appear up and bog up your chat, uh, which is awesome. Uh, in the auction house, a great addition is, for example, if you wanted to buy, uh, let's say, you wanted to buy anything, 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 let's go for the cheapest thing ever. Uh, let's say you wanted to buy this particle note. Oh, but there's multiple for sale. How many do you want to buy? Oh, I'll buy two. Oh, no, I want to buy one. Um, it's much easier. Oh, Oops, I accidentally purchased one. Hey, have this particle note. Um, you can buy multiple at once. You can specify how much you are. So you don't have to either buy all of them or just buy one. So that's awesome. By the way, don't judge my outfit. It's summer, so my gun's out. Sun's out, gun's out. I said summer, but it's raining miserably everywhere that I am. Um, so there are a few other changes as well. You've added condensed to servants. Uh, I'll touch on that in another video, but that is a very good addition for if you've got your servants on slaying. Um, they've nerfed the force enchant, they increased the prices of enchant books. Uh, they fixed the nether boss arena, taking nether time, so nether's not unlocked yet, but when the nether does unlock, uh, if you're in the arena itself, it won't eat into your nether time, which is awesome. Uh, 
Um, reworked the soul bound to only work on weapons, reworked a vacuum enchant not to put items in overflow, and the vote party rewards in the end ships go into overflow, um, which is pretty cool. They've also released this limited time independence crate. As you can see, there's some cool rewards here. Uh, if you want to have a look at those rewards, I'll happily show you. If we just go in here, we go into holiday skins, independent skins. If we equip the sword, let's have a look. Wow! America, woo! And if you want to look at the pickaxe, you can also do that because I think I have the pickaxe too. Uh, da, da, da. We do. Uh, we have all of them actually. Pretty sad, I know. But there we go. There's our America pickaxe. We probably could equip them to all of these if you wanted to see. Why not? If you're here, you might as well get the full Monty. So there we go. We've got the uh, shovel. No, we don't have a shovel. Never mind. Anyway, moving on. So uh, <laughs> another few fixes that we have got. Um, they fixed the Warlock Bow skin, announcing the wrong skin when you get it from the skin crates, which is cool. Um, they updated the Auction House purchasing menu, which is also awesome. Um, and there's a few. There was a little bug with fly, which means that you can fly on an island where it's disabled. But that is fixed now, so that's pretty cool. There are loads of other little changes here and there, so um, yeah, just have a play, have a look a look around, explore the new spawn because it does look cool, and enjoy the game. Um, yeah, that's about it for the moment. If you've got any questions, drop a comment and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, look out for the crystals guide so I can explain the crystals in more detail for you all. But nevertheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.